Hey, y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Saturday morning. How you doing? How you been? Getting ready to go out and run some errands and get a pedicure, y'all. Yeah, I don't do that myself. It hurts my back too much. But this video is not about pedicures. This video is about the jacket. Yeah, the jacket. I still can't find my background. I think my cat pushed it way back up against my bed. I can't reach it. So, so I'm trying to give you guys a, my earring background. But anyway, I woke up this morning, you guys, and I had a lot of comments still on that jacket that I wore to the, con to the concert. Um, I'm getting messages in my inbox. I'm getting messages on that video saying, you know, if I ask you where you got that jacket from, will you tell me? Y'all, y'all, y'all must don't know me by now. I don't have no problem sharing anything. Uh, the only reason I didn't do this before is because no one was really asking me about it. They were just complimenting me on the jacket. But now, uh, you know, like I said, I'm getting a lot of comp a lot of questions on did I make it, where I got it from, you know, will you tell me? Yeah, y'all, I'ma tell y'all. I didn't say anything in my other video because I was mad about them stopping me from recording, but I did meet the lady who did my jacket. Actually, she came and found me. She said someone told her, I see somebody with a jacket on just like yours. And she was like, what, really? So they, like, pointed, you know, to her where I was sitting. And she sat down, you know, because I was the only one in that session. So I saw her sit down with another lady. They kept looking at me. And I'm like, you know, what the hell are they looking at? So she finally came over and tapped me on my shoulder. And she said, you know, someone said, um, you have a jacket on like mine. Can I see it? Because I might have made it. So I turned around. I turned around again. And I'm like, Hey, girl, because she didn't recognize me because I had, you know, she, she knows something with hair in my head. But anyway, and I had told her about the jacket, and I was getting a lot of compliments on it, how much I loved it. I told her I had a YouTube page for the badass cat right there. Put my background at midnight. Anyway, y'all, just busting my door without knocking. Yeah, um... I told her that I, you know, I had a YouTube page and I was, you know, was going to try to send her some business away. Her name is Farrah. She sell, she, it's, no, it's a boutique. She makes shoes. She can bling out your shoes for you. She sell um, accessories. I got, you know, I bought a couple of accessories from her before. Purses. Um, you no know, scents or a lot of stuff that you would see in a boutique. So this is the back of her cord, and I said she would bling out shoes for you. This is the front of her cord. She's located here in Houston on, um, on 290 and 34th Street. So if you can't read this card, I would give you the information if you would like. If you would, you know, PM me, I would give you any information you would like. Okay, I took her my own jacket. She had jacket stuff she had already made. No, they can be the long sleeve jacket. It could be any color. I even saw a plaid one. So this is, of course, a jacket. I brought her. I've been had this. And I'm going to show you guys a close up of the jacket. And I kept walking by her shop like maybe 10 times and she kept staring at me. So I finally decided to go in because I was going to try to make it myself. But I realized about the time I get all of the chains I needed and the labor, it was worth me paying her $50. I paid her $50 and she um she did this to the jacket. All she did, as you can see, she cut the back of it out. Trying to get a good... You know, she cut the back of it out. And I don't know how she got those in there. So, again, I'm going to give you guys a close-up so you might can figure it out yourself. Like little staples. Staples she got in there. And... Those are some kind of staples. And she just, um... I hope that's a good view for you guys. Like I say, she um, you can get the the back of your jacket any way you like. You can get all gold, all silver chains. She have something like I saw um some beads. I saw a 
some beads like this on it. This is a black necklace. She had some, no, some black. She had purple. She had some pink beads. She had like some beads like here, like a black one, a white one, or a white bead here, or white. You could just tell her what you want. Any design you want, she would do it. I mean, it would hang like this, of course, but any kind of chains or beading you want on the back, she can do it. But I wanted to take her, I wanted to take her this white one at first, but I saw the back of my, this white one. I'm like, no, you know, I'm, she might be able to cut it out. But I did tell her about this after, um, at the concert. So she could have done this white one, even though it doesn't have the, you know, the back of it like this. I don't know what I'm trying to say, right? She still could have cut this out and she still could have added those chains for me in white so I, I might take it back to her you guys I, I might because you will see a lot of this jacket this summer baby and I don't want to you know you will be seeing this a lot so I, again I might just take her this white one to have her hook it up for me so yeah you guys that is um, the jacket And if you buy it out of the boutique, I already made it $75. And she don't even know I'm doing this, you guys. So, But I told her I was going to, I had a YouTube page and I was sent customers her way. So, you know, I don't get anything for doing this. I'm just trying to help another sister out like I always do. So, yeah, you guys, y'all go try to, y'all go find her and check her out. Like I said, y'all need any more information about her, her shop, you guys PM me and I will um let you know. All right, y'all. Holla. Got you down? No problem.